Good morning, Pantry Effort, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Tuesday, December 10th. I'm Josh. I'm Nick. Birthdays for today are Meg Riley, Angela Sicoli, Timothy Vecchio, Nathan Pasek, and William Piper. There are no health assessments for today. Cat projects for this week are Golden Heights is today. The start time is 6.45 p.m. There's also PTO babysitting at Sunrise School. The start time is 6.45 p.m. Also, Cleveland Heights meet in the nurse's office after school. For Wednesday, December 11th is Kentucky Project. The start time is 6.30 in the social hall of the church. Also, Sunrise Market Day, the start time is 3.30. On Friday, December 13th, it is Trafford Market Day. The start time is 3.30. The Toys for Tots drive will end soon. Police consider donating a new toy or book for a child 13 years of age and younger. Seniors, if you have been accepted to a college, please bring in your acceptance letters to the guidance office. Skylay's laser shows are returning to Penn Traverse High School December 8th through the 14th. Shows will include Laser Holiday, Pink Floyd, iPop, and Electrolase. Costs for tickets are $5 for adults and $4 for students. Astronomy Club is still selling stadium cups. This past Saturday marked the 72nd anniversary of the attacks on Pearl Harbor. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to air the story yesterday. With more information on this, here at Pearl Harbor. On December 7, 1941, at 738, the Empire of Japan used a surprise military strike on the U.S. naval base. The attack was intended to keep the U.S. Pacific Fleet from interfering with Japan. 188 U.S. aircrafts were destroyed. Over 2,402 Americans were killed and 1,282 wounded. Important base installations such as power stations, shipyard maintenance, and fuel and torpedo storage facilities, as well as submarine piers and headquarters, were not harmed. At about 8 a.m. on December 7, 1941, while much of the nation was sitting down to a Sunday lunch, John Daly was just entering the mess hall of the U.S. Army Barracks at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Before the day was through, more than 2,300 Americans were dead and about 1,200 were wounded. About 19 Navy ships were sent to the bottom or damaged in the surprise Japanese attack. John Daly is a relative of Mr. Moses. He recalls how soldiers and sailors present during the attack, many of whom were on leave and away from the base, scrambled to take their post to stage a desperate last minute defense. Everybody, including my home company, put a machine gun on the roof, Daly said. Everybody was shooting up. After the attack, Daly helped dig foxholes along the beaches of Hawaii in anticipation of a Japanese sea assault that never came. Later, he shipped out to Australia for training and fought in New Guinea. Pearl Harbor triggered America's entry into World War II. It became a defining moment for an entire generation. Due to testing, we have to cut the announcements short, so the lunch menu for today is macaroni and cheese with a bun and a side salad with fries. Thanks for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand to pledge to the flag. I'm Josh. I'm Nick. And have a good testing day.